Hey everybody, Sam Davidson here with MEA Worldwide and I am here with Mike Shoehead, of course, who is from Bravo's Shaws of Sunset. How you doing? Great. It's nice to be here with you. I love the show. This Thank season you. is already explosively crazy. Um, what would you say is the biggest difference about this season than what we've seen before? Um, you know, with, we were off the air for so long that there was so much that happened that it's a season jam-packed with so many life experiences that I don't even know how they fit it into 12 episodes because mm -hmm. so much transpired between the entire group, good and bad, that every single episode is fucking nuts. Yeah. Like nuts. And I was going to ask too, I mean, there was such a big gap and, you know, everyone says you guys are like family, you're really close. Like, did you really see everyone as often during this gap or were there specific people that you really only see when you're filming? Um, of course, some of us are closer to each other than others, but we can't go that long without seeing each other. I mean, for the last eight years, we spend half the year together filming. So to not see each other feels weird. Mm -hmm. And we are really friends, so we enjoy each other's company. Now, unfortunately, this last year, I had to choose between um, the different groups because we were divided, you know? It was like East versus West. And unfortunately, I couldn't get everyone in the same room together. So I was doing dinners with MJ and Shervin, and then hanging out with Golnessa and Reza. And then, you know, me and Nima would go out. It was just, it was, it's unfortunate, but it's authentic and yeah. that's why the show is so amazing because you guys are really seeing what transpired between us real time which is still going on mm -hmm. and um it's just it's it's explosive like With you said reza i mean what the heck is going on like is you know we've we've gotten to know him so well throughout all of these years, you know, but it just kind of seems there's so much more contention, you know, with him and some of you guys. Uh, are you still talking to him right now? Um, he's my brother, right? Mm -hmm. So he's, he can be very emotional at times, right? Um, he is very aggressive. He's a Leo, so he wants to always be right. And either you're with him or you're against him, and he has no gray, it's either black and white, so we had our falling out, we had our issues, and you know, we're almost at blows with each other, because I really didn't appreciate the way he was treating me and the way he was treating MJ. I understood why he was doing it, but what he was doing was wrong, and then he tried to, you know, pull some nonsense with me, and we finally just got on the phone, we're like, look, let's just sit down and talk about this, and, and, and just figure out what the hell's wrong with both of us, and just move on, so... It got to the point where the producers of the show actually sat down with us and were like, what the hell is going on here? What are you guys even fighting about? Because they couldn't even wrap their heads around it. Wow. You know, so it was just, it's, it's... Obviously things get amplified with the cameras and the producers. I mean, do you think this would have happened regardless if there was a show or not? I'll be honest with you. Um, it doesn't just get amplified when the show mm -hmm. is on or when there's cameras. It's constant. Like, you saw it. There was no cameras, social media. Reza was going on crazy rants. MJ was doing some weird, like, encrypted type of shit talking. It just, it, it doesn't stop just because there's no camera. It's mm -hmm. legitimate beef that continues. But it's not just all beef, right? So those two have their beef, but the rest of us are, you know, we're still getting along. And um, you know, a lot of great things have happened throughout the year with all of us. Yeah, and especially you. You know, I know you're in this newer relationship. Yeah. Uh, especially being on television and having, you know, your relationship prior be so public. Um, what did you kind of learn through that relationship, which is something that you're going to apply to this one? Sure. Um, you know, I started dating my ex-wife on television. Um, we got engaged and married on television and then whatever wasn't on TV We made sure the world saw through my social media and through her so through her social media and People were heavily invested in our relationship and unfortunately not everyone wants to see you doing Better than them. They don't want to see you doing well. Some people are haters. Some people are trolls some people try to bait you and try to get you in trouble and um, Unfortunately our relationship suffered because of it. So we had a very troubled relationship, then you add social media and TV and just it started to crumble. So with this new relationship, 
I've learned from my mistakes where I don't document everything that's happening in my life with her on social media, mm -hmm. right? I don't respond to the fans that are sending me DMs, not just women, men, whoever, right? Because some people reach out and ask for advice and then they get me going into a conversation and not that they're trying to hurt me, but people are just strange. I did a giveaway for an iPad and one of the guys I, I was giving an iPad to had the audacity to DM me after like two days to tell me, hey, where's my iPad you promised me? <laughs> I'm like, hey man, I'm sorry. My car got broken into, they stole all the stuff I had in my trunk, mm -hmm. I had to get a new one. And I sent him a, a picture, like ones that disappear, he screenshot it. And I was like, you know what? You forfeited your prize. And I blocked him and I <laughs> moved on to the next person to win mm -hmm. the, 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 the iPad. Now, to you might, you might be like, what the hell does that have to do with anything? It's just, people are crazy out mm -hmm. there, right? So they don't want to see you doing better than them. Yeah. And they think like you're some sort of superhero when you're on television. I'm like, no, I'm just like you, mm -hmm. right? And I mean, I'm sure you feel very protective of her yes. during this time. Um, do you kind of, I mean, you said you are keeping it off social media more than you did before, right. but as far as being on the show, I mean, are we gonna see her as a prominent character this season? You're gonna see a lot of her. She's dynamic. Her energy is amazing. She's beautiful. She's kind, she's sweet. And the camera loves her. She looks great on TV. And the cast really started to fall in love with her as well. So she plays a huge role in my life. and. Uh, helping me navigate through these mm -hmm. kind of choppy waters. How did she feel about being on TV? Did she have reservations about that or was she on board? Mm. She was a little hesitant, mm -hmm. you know, but the alternative was that I don't tell anyone that I'm in a relationship and I pretend like I'm single Mike. Mm -hmm. And after being on television for so years, I realized that I cannot not be my authentic self and try to pretend I'm something I'm not because the audience is not stupid. Mm -hmm. They could smell lies, they could smell deceit just through the television. So I wouldn't want that and I sat down with her and she's very elevated in her thinking. So she's like, let's do it and we'll just play it by ear and see what happens. And thank God she did really well and it was, she was just a natural and we just continued. Would you have another TV wedding proposal or are you going to keep that more to yourself, you think? Um, no, I don't think I'll ever do that again. Mm -hmm. That was a lot to share. Yeah. And um, now when I see flashbacks of it, it hurts me. Even though it was a, you know, a failed marriage, at that point in time, I thought that was the person I was going to spend the rest of my life with. And for it to now see unfold the way it did, majorly because of my faults, it's still hard to watch. Yeah, absolutely. Right? And I mean, you also have other great stuff going on, your business ventures. Um, you know, are we going to see more of that this season? What's going on um, with all these different opportunities that you have? You know, Iranians are, are, are very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? They're very uh, ambitious, mm -hmm. right? My parents came here with nothing. so. We realize in America, this, this, this country is so amazing because everything's handed to you on a silver platter if you really want it. So I'm building a 24 unit apartment building, actually just a few blocks away from here. Oh, cool. um, I'm working on my CBD line that I'm really excited about. It's helped me through some of the pains that I was going through. Um, I'm helping my parents remodel their home. I'm just always doing stuff. And this season, you see a lot of my interaction with my family, me doing the building. Uh, you may see the CBD line. So mm -hmm. it's just always, up to something trying to you know make yeah. some money and, and 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 give back in some sort of way if you were to go back to season one you right what advice would you give him have more fun have more fun because it goes by fast i can't believe we are now in season eight mm -hmm. of the show i was just looking at some old pictures like damn i was so young i was fit i was having the best time they casted me to be some the playboy on the show you know, had all these different relationships and it was really fun to let the audience follow my journey to becoming the best version of myself so far. Absolutely. And I mean, could you see this show going on for when you guys are like old, old, like, you know, what if it were like season 30, Shaws of Sunset? You know, it, could it be possible? Absol uh, you know, absolutely. Um, would I be a part of it? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I have to see where my life is at that point. But I think we've opened the doors for other uh, ethnicities, other cultures to be on television. Mm -hmm. You know, they took a huge, Bravo took a huge gamble putting us on TV, 
right? You would see Hispanic people on television, you would see black people on television. You wouldn't really see Middle Eastern people on TV, and if you did, they played the terrorist role, or you know, some sketchy role that they were playing. And now, for the world to see our culture and how rich it is in food and, and history and all these different wonderful things, I'm hearing people like, people are messaging me like, telling me that they wish they were Iranian. I wish I was Persian, I love your culture. And before, people wouldn't understand it because all you saw was the news talking negatively about our culture. Yeah. And it gives you just a bad idea of who we really are. And now, we're opening the doors for other cultures. Like, they have a new Indian show coming out. That's amazing. Right? It's crazy. Yeah. So I posted, I was like, we were one of the first shows to showcase brown people on television as a cast. And now, other networks are doing the same thing. And, and I think that's cool that we contributed in some way to that. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Absolutely. This has been so much fun. And guys, this season of Shaws of Sunset is wild. It's going to be crazy. Make sure to tune in every Sunday on Bravo at 9 p.m. Yes. We'll see you next time. Bye.